Okay, we're going to continue uh, working on our, our vector of objects and, and our, our sort of tile project. Um, we've got the, our tile class pretty much um, set to how we're going to need it. We may need to make changes. We'll discover that as we go along. Um, but now we're going to work on the tile set, which, which will contain up to 100 tiles. And then we can do things like shuffle, take them out, and stuff like this. This is where we're actually going to use our vector of tiles. So we have um, our, our code that's here, and, and everything compiles as it stands right now. So let's look at the tile bag. The tile bag is going to contain a vector of tiles called, let's just call it bag. And well, I, I mean, I know I'm going to need to put some stuff in here. I have vector, so I'm going to need to include vector. Uh, and I'm going to need to either put, well, I'm going to need the using namespace, or I'm going to put the std colon colon in front of vector. Um, I also need to include my tile, right? Because in order to make a vector of tiles, it needs to know what a tile is. Um, click compile and check. Yep, everything's going. So now we're going to have. Uh, some of the, the methods that go with this. Um, and I guess the, the, the first place to start um, is to basically just fill it up with tiles. So to start off with, let, let's just, cut, well, fill it up with tiles and print it. So let, let's get those working first. Um, call it fill. Uh, so we'll tell our tile bag to fill itself, and then we'll uh, call our tile bag to print itself. J just to start off with, these are obviously much going to be much too long for putting in uh, on uh, inline functions. So they're going to go over in the CPP file. So here's my tile bag. Right, I have a void called fill, which is a member of the tile bag class. And we have a void called print, which is also a member of the tile bag class. Okay, um, we got all the pieces together. Yep, compiles and works. So the idea in here is that we're going to have to put tiles in there. Um, so our definition of our tile bag is a vector of tiles. So in order to use right the pushback, which is part of the vector, I need to actually give it a tile. Uh, in this routine here, there aren't any tiles. So I'm going to create a tile called temp. And, and the idea is that I'm going to take one tile, set it, push it back, change it, push it back, change it, push it back, because I know that the pushback routine makes a copy of what I give it. So I can create one tile and then change it and then put all, then change it, put it again, change it, put it again, change it, put it again, and so on. Um, I'm obviously going to have a count. So the, the overview is going to be something like for i equals 0, i less than 100, right, since we're doing 100 of them. And like I just said, we'll, we'll comment it out. I'm going to um, change that temp tile to what I want. And and push it into the bag, right? And we know what that's going to look like. It's going to be the bag, right? Push back, and what I'm going to put in is the temp, and then changing the tile to what I want. 
uh, is going to be temp dot right those accessor functions we did set um, letter to be and you know what I'm just gonna put a bunch of question marks in there uh, with a value zero and stick them on the back just just kind of for testing uh, for showing it well you know it's gonna be very similar right so I'm just gonna kinda copy my loop and then um, I'm going to access each individual tile, so that's going to be m bag of i, right? That's the individual character, but uh, m bag of i, you know, let me just make a comment to that. Right, m the ith element in m bag is a tile, right? Because this is a vector of tiles. So since it's a tile, right, I can do right set values, but I can just do get values, and I can also do print. Right now, I have these. Let's see if it compiles. Yep. Now it's not doing anything yet. Um, so let, let's kind of call these routines. Uh, we're going to call them from the game manager at some point, right? Because in main we have the game manager start. So I'm just going to use this game manager start as sort of my debugging for right now. Um, my game manager is going to have uh, a tile bag called, um, I don't know, bag I don't want to use the same thing again let's just call it the 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 letters sure we'll call it the letters why not and it's a tile bag in order to use it of course we're going to need to include uh, our tile bags um, how about the letter pool. That sounds a lot better. Um, there aren't letters, they're tiles. So it's the tile pool. Finally came up with a decent one there. So it's going to be called tile pool. And we're going to our tile pool and we're going to fill it. I want to call it a knit there. And then we're going to print it in start and I'll just kind of put game manager start in there just so we see we have all the pieces let's see what happens um, oh see how it was not declared in this scope all right we had this same issue before in print Right, I/O stream, and we need to make sure that we have the the standard thing in there. Okay, so we, we we ran it, and we get a whole bunch of of right like what we expected. All the question marks out there. Um, not really sure if it's a hundred. I can't count like this, but we could guess that it's about a hundred or so. So we have um, the filling and the printing. Now we need to uh, get the right letters in there. Um, I guess one choice would be to um, like just sort of brute force it like A has a value of 1 and then um, kind of take the loop out of there and uh, Right, so so the idea w would sort of look like um, set A to one, put it in there. Maybe put in two or three of them. Right, if there's three of them or four of them, and put them in that way. Um, 
I think what I want to do is, is I want to make another method that's going to help me here where I send right the parameters the value the letter and then the number of those tiles that I'm going to put into it so um, let, let's call it uh, I don't know, make tiles and then we send an A and I don't know six I'll guess for now I'll fix that in a second um, it has a value of one and uh, six tiles and then B has a value of um, three and there's two of them or, or, or whatever those numbers need to be so this will add six A's with a value of one, this will add three B's with a value of two. So let, let's kind of make a method that would do that, which is going to include this stuff out there. Uh, called Now it's called make tiles. So uh, it's a void. It's a member of the tile bag class called uh, make tiles. It gets a character, the letter. It gets an integer, the value. And it gets an integer, uh, the number of times it's going to be created. Uh, I need the tile here. Actually, I don't need it in the other routine. All right, so I got to set the letter to the letter, and I got to set the value to the value. And let's just neaten this up. Put my loop in here. Strictly speaking, I guess I didn't need the squiggly braces there, but I like to put them in anyway. Um, so we have our routine, which sets those numbers of tiles. Um, we don't need those there. So basically our fill routine is going to contain all the information for creating all the different tiles in there. Um, we did this void make tiles function. So that will again, like a prototype, Right, need to go into the tile bag. And we'll straighten that up. See if it compiles. Uh, whoops. I'm going to cut and paste, forgot my semicolon. See if it compiles. Right, it compiles. So we have a bunch of A's, we have a bunch of B's. And then we have garbage because I didn't actually put 100 in there, but my print routine uh, I can see has uh, goes beyond the end of it, and I can fix that real quick by sort of changing our definition of what's in uh, the tile bag. And rather than printing out 100, let's be a little safer and do the size method of the bag so that it only prints out what's in the bag. And we'll run this and test it again. All right, so there we got the A's and B's. And I'm going to go offline and, and fill it with the correct stuff. Uh, and then we'll come back and we'll start looking at, at um, shuffling them and taking one out in the next video.